Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 841, keys and rooms. The way we'll be solving this problem is by using the concept of uh, depth first search. Um, and you would need two data structures to make this happen. The first thing that you would need is a stack. And the stack, the way we'll be using it is to store all of the list of integers that we get in rooms as we iterate through um, every list. So let's initialize that first. And the next thing you need is um, a hash set. So the hash set will keep um, all of the rooms that we've seen so far. And in the end, we need to compare the, the number of rooms that we have visited. So the number of rooms that we have visited would be kept in the set and the number of rooms that actually are. So in the end, you would actually check if the number um of rooms in the set that means the ones that we have visited is actually equal to um the number of rooms that we actually have but before that we actually need to go through all of them so let's just do that um but before we do that we need to uh, push the zeroth index to uh, the stack that's where we will be starting and in the hash set as well you start with room zero so you would add that well, it's actually called set in this case great so the while loop will be while the stack is not empty uh, We keep uh, running through all of the uh, the rooms. So let's just get the first integer that we want to look at. So you would be popping the first thing that you see in the stack, and then you would check, hey, uh, get all of the uh, rooms that we can get to by looking at the current room. So for int i in um, rooms dot get get current if we haven't visited it yet uh, set that contains I if we haven't visited it you will add that to the list list dot add i and you would also push that to the stack stat dot push i and once you've actually pushed both those numbers you'll check hey um is the size of the number of rooms that we have visited equal to the number of the rooms that actually are if it is you'll just return true right then and there which will um help us reduce the number of computation that we have to do right after um, and cut short the entire solution. If not, you would want to do that for everything that's in the stack. Um, so let's quickly compile this and see uh, how it goes. The first test case is okay. Everything else is okay as well. Awesome. So let's quickly talk about the space and the, the time complexity. Um, so the time complexity of the entire solution uh, would be of n, where of n would represent um the number of um integers in this particular uh, list of lists and the space complexity would also be uh linear since we're using a stack and a set to keep track of the rooms that we need to visit right after and the ones that we've uh, visited previously so that's the solution to this problem um if there are any questions please let me know in the comments below and please don't forget to subscribe i would really really appreciate that see you all in the next video peace